Welcome to Cleaner Vinyl Ultrasonic Record Cleaning Solutions. This video is about the Cleaner Vinyl Micron in tank filtration system. It circulates the cleaning fluid through a 1 micron rated particle filter while you clean your records. This prevents redeposition of dirt during the cleaning process and strongly reduces the need to replace the cleaning fluid. The Micron system comes in two versions fitting into 6 and 10 liter ultrasonic cleaners. This shows the components of the 6 liter system. The pump and filter unit is connected to a control unit that clips to the rim of the ultrasonic cleaner tub. The pump and filter unit is held in place with the positioning frame that also clips to the rim. And the system is powered with a USB adapter that can run on any voltage between 100 and 240 volts. This shows the components of the 10 liter version and you see it's pretty much the same except that the positioning frame is a little bit wider so it fits on the 10 liter tank size. Let me walk you uh, real quick through the basic design of the cleaner vinyl micron. This here is the pump compartment. The pump intake is on the back side here. So that's where the cleaning fluid enters the pump and then the pump pumps it into the uh, filter compartment. After the fluid passes through the filter, it exits here through these two output channels. This shows the filter compartment with a 1 micron filter cartridge installed. And so it's pretty obvious once the lid is sealed onto the filter compartment that the um, cleaning fluid has to pass through the filter to make it to these exit channels. Okay, now it's time for the demonstration. So the first step is to put the uh, filter in, then put the o-ring into the groove, put the lid on, rotate a little bit to situate the o-ring and then tie it down with the knob. And that's about it. And so this is how it fits on the positioning frame. Okay, once the filter is in, the next step is to put the um, positioning frame onto the rim of the cleaner. And it simply clamps on. So just grab it with one hand and clamp it. And that's it. So the important thing here to keep in mind is that uh, the Micron should be installed over the drain because the ultrasonic transducers are on this end of the uh, cleaner. So once the frame is in, we can simply grab the um, pump and filter unit, stick it on those pins, and at the same time uh, clamp the uh, control unit onto the rim here next to the pump and filter unit. Now it's time to put in some water. So first I want to demonstrate how the water is circulating. So we will only put a little bit of water in there to just barely cover the uh, pump intake. And then we can observe how the water is coming out of these exit channels. The pump intake uh, is right at the bottom here of the pump and filter unit. And so it is able to essentially draw in water right from the bottom of the tank, which is, of course, where the dirt goes usually. So let's put in some water and then uh, plug it in. Here we go. And so after a little bit of air pumping and noise making, we see a nice and strong stream coming out of the uh, filter compartment. I should point out here that the 6 liter cleaner is circulated in about 3 to 4 minutes at this uh, uh, flow. The 10 liter cleaners uh, correspondingly uh, circulate in about 4 to 5 minutes. Okay, now it's time to fill it up so you can observe how the uh, micron system behaves when the tank is full. And so you'll see that everything quiets down quite nicely and that there's very little turbulence in the water because of the pump. Like so. Okay, so at this point you're probably curious how the Cleaner Vinyl Micron will work together with our uh, Cleaner Vinyl Pro record cleaning setup. And so here in this picture you see everything installed together on a 6 liter tank. And so you see there is no interference between the uh, uh, Micron and the uh, Pro and the dry setup. The uh, Cleaner Vinyl Micron uses its own corner while the Pro and the dry 
uh, use the other end of the cleaner. Of course the Micron also works with our new Lift Pro accessory that allows you to dry the records without draining the tank. A very convenient feature to enhance throughput. So how about the 10 liter version of the Micron? This here shows it installed in a 10 liter tank and so you see here the bigger positioning frame installed that holds the uh, Micron in the uh, proper position inside that bigger tank. And here you see the 10 liter system together with the Cleaner Vinyl Max. So clean 24 records in one go in ultra clean cleaning fluid. So when you're done with cleaning, there are essentially two ways to uh, store the Cleaner Vinyl Micron system. One is if you use it almost every day, like in a record store say, then a good idea is to simply leave it submerged in the cleaning fluid and uh, continuously run it. The cleaning fluid can only get cleaner and um, the Cleaner Vinyl Micron is designed that it can run continuously. Now if you only use this setup occasionally, we absolutely recommend to store it dry and for that you simply uh, remove it from the tank like you installed it just in reverse direction and um, of course there is now a little bit of water in there so we have to drain that from the from the unit so it's a good idea to open it over the tank so here we go the water is out and now you can simply set it down on a towel here next to the um, setup of course it's a good idea to also remove the uh, filter and place it separately so it can dry out properly. At this point you may be wondering how many records can one clean with one of these filters before it needs to be replaced. Well of course that depends on how dirty the records are but to give you an idea this is the filter that we uh, used for the demonstration and you see here it's pretty dark compared to a new filter that I'm holding next to it here. So this filter was used to clean about 150 records that we uh, bought used from uh, record stores and on eBay and on Discogs, uh, pretty standard collector's intake. And you saw that after these 150 records, the uh, water flow was uh, still very vigorous that came out of the filter compartment. In fact, we didn't see much of a difference between the water flow through this filter and a new filter. So this tells us two things. One is that the system works very well, right? The filter is dark and dirty. So that means the dirt actually got stuck in the filter and uh, not in, is not in the cleaning fluid and hasn't been redeposited on the records. And the other thing this tells us that um, we can probably clean many more records than the 150 with one of these filters. So we estimate that maybe 500 or possibly more records can be cleaned before one needs to put a new filter cartridge in. Of course the benchmark uh, for, for this decision is watching the water flow that comes out of the filter compartment with the filter installed. Once it gets weak, then you know the filter is plugged up and needs to be replaced. Alright, looks like we are at the end of our demonstration video for the Cleaner Vinyl Micron. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're interested in purchasing or more information, please visit us at cleanervinyl.com the home of ultrasonic vinyl record cleaning solutions.